Greetings my lovelies, hi it's Emmy, welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Australia. So this package was sent to me by lovely Miss M. Little Miss M, thanks so much for sending me this package and I super appreciate your time and patience for waiting for this video. And yeah, I'm excited to taste more of Australia because it's been a little while. I did one not too long ago, but yeah, it's been a while. I love comparing all the kind of cultural differences between English speaking countries because it was like, oh yeah, they speak English, but they're so different, right? There's so many things that I've never even heard of because it's Australian rather than American or US American. but. So I'm sitting in my backyard, sitting underneath this black walnut tree, and there was a squirrel that was chewing on some walnuts above me and dropping walnut pulp all over me. It was really disgusting. So I had to relocate. So, yeah, I'm sure you didn't need to know that story, but I thought I'd share it with you anyways because this is one of the things I deal with as a YouTuber who's filming outside in her backyard. Alright, let's go ahead and eat some of these Aussie treats, shall we? Lovely M put this package together and included something that was non-edible. This little guy. How stinking cute is he? I've been told many, many times by my Aussie friends that koala bears are not bears. Right, they're not bears, but we still call them koala bears. I don't know why. This will be my little Aussie representative on my bookshelf. So let's try this first. This is Arnott's Shapes, and I've had Shapes before. I believe it was in my first Emmy Eats Australia video. And Shapes are a type of cracker, which I've learned comes in different shapes. That's why they call them Shapes. And this is Shapes Sensations. And this flavor is Honey Soy Chicken. How interesting. Do you think they'll taste chickeny? Ooh, they smell good. They smell kind of cheesy. It's like a parallelogram doing a dance. All right, let's give it a taste. It did lucky moss. Mmm. Those are great. They're very intensely flavored, and they're like dipped in some kind of flavoring that's just delicious. As soon as you place them on your tongue, you get this like flavor explosion. These are crazy addictive, as if there's MSG in there, but I don't know if there is or not. Maybe that's the soy component of here. These are scrumptious. They don't taste like chicken at all, which is great. And they're sweet and savory and yummy. This is also made by the company Arnuts, and this is a Australian classic. Tim Tams. So these are the chewy caramel flavor of Tim Tams. I've had Tim Tams a few different times. If you haven't seen those videos, I shall put the links down below, including a how to do a Tim Tam slam, which apparently I did wrong. So if you want to see Tim Tam fail, yeah, go down below and I'll put the link there. <laughs> so inside the sleeve, we have a beautiful cookie, kind of light, it looks like milk chocolate. And a Tim Tam, if you've never had one, is a cookie sandwich with a cream filling. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. A very sweet cookie with oozy, goozy, chewy caramel in the middle. This is almost more like a candy bar than a cookie. It's great. It's super sweet. Milk, 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 chocolatey, both on the outside and in the middle. And then you've got this chewy, gooey, oozy caramel center. It's over the top. It definitely needs like a glass of milk or some tea in it. We have another Tim Tams flavor, and these are made by Adriano Zumbo, which I've had before. Uh, but I haven't had this one. This is coconut cream. Let's give that a go. Yeah, these are almost the same color as the other caramel ones. Ooh, very strongly scented of coconut. Let's see what's inside. Mmm. And that's not bad. The cookie biscuit is quite light. It has a nice crunch to it. And then you've got this kind of fluffy coconut flavored center. Not bad. Again, quite sweet, but nice. It reminds me of a cookie version of Almond Joy without the almonds and lots of joy. <laughs> it's great. So lovely M told me the whole catalyst for this package was this. This is a Dairy Milk Vegemite bar. I did an entire video tasting this, so if you missed that, I'll put the link down below. Next, we have this treat. Again, it's made by Arnott's, and it's Wagon Wheels Originals. I tasted some cookies in past videos, and people said they're just like Wagon Wheels. I'm like, what's a Wagon Wheel? This is a Wagon Wheel. So let's give it a go. Oh, look at this. So it looks like a little sandwich. Let's give them a go. Mm -hmm very thin coating of chocolate. You've got two little cookie biscuits in there. Marshmallow soft fluffy center and just a little skim. I think raspberry jam, which is great. The textures are really wonderful. The marshmallow kind of softens the cookie a little bit, so it's a little bit like a cake. The flavors are very reminiscent of like a Little Debbie's or a Hostess something or other because of that chocolate and cookie cake-like-ness about it all. It's great. Because of that inclusion of jam, it reminds me a little bit of Lamingtons and of Jaffa Cakes. Yeah. Miss those videos? I shall put the links down below. Lovely M also sent me a cherry ripe bar. 
and a Freddo. I've tasted both of these in my Emmy East Australia Part 2 video, so if you missed that, I shall put the link down below. So, as some of you may or may not know, Kinder Eggs are not allowed here in the States because they're a choking hazard. So I got a couple from Australia. Thanks, lovely M. Including a frozen one and some regular ones. So let's see what's inside the frozen Kinder Egg. It got a little smushed en route, but hopefully everything will be all right. This is not a Kinder Egg because it's not white chocolate on the inside. This is just all milk chocolate. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. It's just plain milk chocolate. And then inside's the best part. You get a little capsule. It shows you what you can get. And I got this guy. I have to confess I've never watched Frozen. Am I the only person on the planet who's never watched Frozen? Probably. I don't know who this is. Let me know in the comments below who this guy is. Alright, let's try Kinder Egg. Dee dee dee. We'll unwrap. I love these things. Last time I was in Europe, I bought one every day because they're so wonderful. So you can squeeze it and take off the top. Eat the chocolate. Mmm! Very sweet and milky and rich and yummy. Open the capsule. And I got a minion! You just drop him onto his little stand here. And he has a really bristly top. <laughs> Another Cadbury Dairy Milk Bar. This was salted caramel. Yum. We shall peel it and open it right here. Like this. This is a huge chocolate bar. And it's embossed with Cadbury. Ah, smells great. And if you can see up close, there are little bits of caramel in there. Mmm. 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 That's great. So dairy milk bars, if you've never had them before, a very sweet and creamy milk chocolate bar. But this one has little pieces of caramel that are crunchy and more like toffee. And as you eat them, they crunch in your mouth. And then as they dissolve, you get these little pops of salt. It's delicious. Really great complement to the sweetness of the chocolate. Also, texturally, it works really well because the dairy milk bars are quite creamy and smooth, and you've got those little crunchy, salty bits in there. It's great. These are gummy snacks made by Allen's, and they're called Killer Pythons. And why are they called Killer Pythons? Just look at the size of this gummy snack. We have gummy worms in the States, but I've never seen pythons. That is so great. I love the detailing of the scales. Not to mention the eyes. And look at the size. They're huge. All right, let's give them a taste. Here we go. Mmm. Really great gummy snack. Not overly firm. Nice and soft and really great chew. And that flavor actually tastes like black currant. Next, we have this beautiful treat. This is a Lindt Bar Excellence Mint Intense. Lovely M knows my weaknesses. It's a dark chocolate bar with some mint. Yes. It says open here. Okay. Slide out. Yes. Isn't that a beautiful sound? Love that. Ah. Here's the beautiful chocolate. Mmm. Delicious. Lovely, smooth, dark chocolate. It's a little bit bitter. Touch of sweetness and touch of mint. Actually, a good amount of mint but really nicely balanced. All right. As you can hear, my neighbor is using some kind of machinery with a large engine. I best be going. Thanks, lovely M, for sending me this package of treats and including this little guy. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. As always, forgive my poor pronunciation. This is made by the company Lonka. And this is Amaretto Stalfes. And Amaretto is just an almond flavored liqueur. Dude, that is one sick haircut. You gotta tell me who your barber is.